Snapchat Q and A. Snapchat Q and A. I quit. Bees, you ever had a pet? And if so, what was his name? And you got any stories? I've had like, how many pets have I had? I had, okay, I had a turtle when I was in like sixth grade. His name was Rocket. I had, okay, Lambo, Phantom, Ferrari, Maybach, and Puppy. So I've had five puppies and a turtle before my lifetime. I don't have any of those pets anymore. <laughs> they didn't like die or no shit. I took them to shelters because my life got too busy and I couldn't really take care of them anymore. All right, Um, who was your meanest girlfriend and why was she so mean? Who was my meanest girlfriend? All of them. Fuck all them hoes. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had just like a meanest girlfriend. I mean, majority of my girlfriends cheated on me, but I don't think I've just had a, like a meanest. I don't date mean, who dates mean people? That's weird. Do you see yourself in the future being in like movies or TV shows, showing like your different skills and things like that? Boo hunting skills, Rubik's Cube skills, TV channel changing skills. Girls only like guys with skills. Hey, Bugatti Bees. So, man, how'd you lose your virginity, bro? How did I lose my virginity? Okay, so I stuck my dick inside of a vagina. And then, like, two minutes later, it was over. <laughs> Have you ever taken shampoo and conditioner bottles from a hotel? I ain't never took no shampoo or no conditioners. I took a pillow one time. Don't ask me how I took a pillow, but I took a pillow one time uh, from a hotel. The pillow was just too, so like, I feel like I was never going to find this pillow, like, in Walmart. Or some, like, it was one of those rare pillows. I don't have the pillow anymore. But it was one of those rare pillows, you know. Hey, Bees, my name is Alex from Colorado. My question is, what is your dream car? What is my dream car? A scooter. I want, like, a, I want, like, a Audi. I know, I know... My channel name is Bugatti Bees, but I mean, Bugattis are pretty much overrated. I want like a Audi or some shit. Like, I want some, some like smooth, some shit that just like, when you see it, you just like, oh yeah, that's a Bees car. I just want like an Audi with like. <laughs> Yo, Bees, what's your favorite Snapchat filter? I think my favorite Snapchat filter would have to be, um,. I don't, uh, I don't really have a favorite. I like, whenever they give like new faces and stuff, I always make characters for them, but I don't just have like a favorite filter though. That's, that, I, I don't have a favorite. What is your favorite thing to do on the weekends? My favorite thing to do on the weekends is um sleep whenever i can sleep if i'm not busy doing some shit i'm probably sleep so i can recharge my body um name three white famous people that you would invite to a cookout and why would you invite them three white famous people i would invite to a cookout all right i would bring uh who the fuck mac miller I'll bring Mac Miller. Uh, I feel like Mac Miller is like, I don't know. So like, I feel like he's like, he would be like hilarious. My family is like funny. I feel like they would fuck with Mac Miller. Taylor Swift, just so she could, uh, she could dance in front of one of my aunties. And then my auntie, <laughs> I have some funny aunties, bro. My aunties would fuck around and like, T Taylor, Taylor sound, Taylor. T Taylor, what are you doing? T Taylor, Taylor, what are you? <laughs> I think the last person I would probably invite would be like Batty Winkle, the the grandma that be on social media, but she chill as fuck. She look like she just, <laughs> like, I don't know, like she, I don't know, I, I can't explain it, bro. I, I would invite Batty Winkle though. She, I feel like she would be dope. Okay, um, all right. If you had to marry the last person you kissed, would you be happy? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I would be happy. How, like, how do you, I don't, I don't know. How do y'all just randomly just, whatever, bro. I, I can't just randomly just kiss people. I'm thinking about the last people I've kissed or the last person I've kissed. I'll be straight. I'll be straight.
I'll just buy like a gun or something. But I'll, I'll be cool. How much did all your tattoos cost? If we're being completely honest, I have no idea. I have so many fucking tattoos. I just don't even know how much they would have all cost. Probably thousands of dollars by now. Hi, I'm like a massive fan of you. Um, my question is, which is better, pizza or fried chicken? Pizza? It's not even close. It's not even close. Hey, yo, Biggs, what's up? I just want to ask you a question. Why can't people just look at the upsides of life sometimes, you know? Okay, so th that's a good question. People have this tendency where there's two sides of the spectrum. So there's people that see the glass half empty and people that see the glass half full. The people who see the glass half full are the positive people in life. And they look at it like, okay, I, d I may not have a full cup of juice, but at least I have juice. And then there's other people that look at the other side like, I only have half a cup of juice. So it's like, m I think this way, but a lot of people think this way. And I feel like the people who think this way should start living this way or start thinking this way because then you have like a more positive look. You could be like, oh snap, I got a dollar instead of damn, I only got a dollar. Like, no, don't be like that. Like, be positive. Like, oh shit, I got into a car accident and I broke my arm. Damn, I broke my arm. You could have died. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's always something worse, but like, you should just be positive minded. And look at the bright side. Oh, it's a good ass question, fam. If you could go back in time, where would you go and why? I don't think I would ever go back in time because the way my skin color is set up, they didn't really fuck with us back then. Like, I want to go forward. I want to see what the future like. I could look in a book and see what the whole past was like. Like, I don't want to, I don't care to meet nobody that was like in the past. Okay, like who? Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X. But, like, that's about it. Like, I want to go to the future. I want to see what the future looks like. I can read up and look up all the stuff in the past. I've seen what happened. I'm not welcome back there. If I die while eating a burger, will I go to heaven with the burger? Damn. I'm, I'm gonna get back to you on that. I don't know if anybody asked you this, but what artist do you wish to collaborate with in the future? And you're so funny. I'm really a fan of you. I wanna collab with damn near everybody. Big Sean, ASAP Rocky, Tyler the Creator, uh, fucking Tyga, Drake Wayne, Ross, Mac Miller, Logic, Kendrick, g -Eazy. Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott. Oh, almost for. Oh, Kanye, if he's still. Yeah, bro. I want to do like I want to work with like some of everybody. I feel like I'm I'm always gonna be a student to rap. Like no matter how good I get, I'm always gonna still be a student, and I'm always learning and always trying to like find out uh, different flows and how to do different things. So like I feel like working with these different people will like. You know how like Power Rangers get together and make a Megazord like that big ass? like I want to be that for rap though like I want to just what is what if you found like a goldfish and she said you could have like three wishes what would they be I would wish one wish and to never run out of wishes ever and you always have to grant my wishes no matter what I wouldn't need you those after that. Like, now what? <laughs> What's up, Bees, bro? Uh, you ever thought about making a vlog channel? And um, congratulations on that million subscriber plaque. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do vlogs and stuff when I start really just like wanting to document my every move after a certain point. We yeah, that yeah. Can you dunk like a basketball? Goal? Can you dunk? I wish I was eating chips so I could. <laughs> Yes, I can dunk. I can dunk a basketball. One hand and two hands. I can't dunk behind the back yet. Or, I can't dunk backwards yet. Because I'll be afraid I'm hitting my head on the rim. And shit like that. But I can do it. the other stuff, yeah. My question is, Bees, who or what motivated you to become the rapper you are today? I would ask you another one, but... Hey, this, hey, he, hey, you kind of, hey, fam, you kind of sound like, uh, Kendrick at the end of To Pimp a Butterfly when he was talking to Tupac. Hey, that's 
crazy. I feel like I'm talking to. <laughs> Um, people that motivated me musically are, uh, like Big Sean, Ludacris, 50 Cent, for some reason. 50 Cent and Eminem. The reason why 50 Cent and Eminem influenced me is because, so I'm from the Midwest, so like most of the music we grew up on was like, like aggression type music. Like you had to have, so, like you had to like prove shit when you rap. So like I feel like Eminem and 50 Cent really bring out the aggression that you might hear in my shit. Uh, Big Shine brings out um, the like punchlines and bars and shit. Also Wayne, but I mean everybody, everybody grew up off Wayne. Uh, so so punchlines and bars and shit from Big Shine and Wayne. My aggression comes from like Eminem, Fifty Cent. My wordplay comes from just uh, looking at shit and calling it different shit sometimes. Or sometimes I hear somebody say something and I like flip it. All type of stuff. I don't know. Are you circumcised? Why she raise her eyebrow like that? <laughs> yes. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. If you want to be on my next Snapchat Q&A. I dropped my phone. If you want to be on my next Snapchat Q&A, make sure you follow me on Snapchat at Bugatti Bees. Um, you can follow me on my other social media as well. My Twitter, my Instagram. My everything is in my bio or my description box below. Bio. What? Also, if you want to check out some of my music, go ahead and head to my SoundCloud, soundcloud.com backslash we got bees. I got new music on the way. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And it's about it. Fuzz with y'all when I fuzz with y'all. Uh, brush your teeth. Uh, bees, you killing me, man. Like I said, why do these hoes play hard to get? What the, what's the fuck the point? Why do these hoes play hard to get? You already a hoe. You shouldn't be hard nothing. At all. What are you doing? Why are you playing hard to get? Why? 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 Why?